So before we jump into today's video, we have some big news here at Three Timbers. <sighs> yeah, wow, it's exciting. We are actually going to be adding a maintenance division here in Arizona, and I think we got the right guy. You'll probably meet him in the future, but I don't, I don't wanna say his name yet in case he like bails on us, and this is an awkward part of our uh, Three Timbers journey, but game plan, we're gonna be adding trucks, adding mowers, add in trailers and we're going to be doing trimming, rocking, irrigation, lawn care, all the good stuff. We are excited here at Three Timbers. We just wanted to update all of you guys on the big news. Hope you enjoy Bill's house. We have arrived at our new job site. So what we're doing here is we are taking out all of these bushes and this little brick retaining wall and all of these pavers so we're putting a new walkway in back here and we're building a new planter box all the way throughout walk around with a big old fancy expensive camera while well, i have to walk around with this little and one other thing we're doing taking all that grass out putting artificial turf in for these guys and we go to the front we are staging base right here but this is turning into a parking pad we're using three quarter minus for that. We're not using pavers or anything. So redoing their entryway. So we're taking out this existing entry entryway, swapping it out with some pavers, taking all this rock out, all these bushes out, these palms, um, Mexican fence post bushes, taking it all out, freshening it up, taking this edge out, making it seamless. And let's get into demo. Two days ago, we came here, or me and Brad came here, with the machine, and we got one load out. And as you guys can see, we absolutely just leveled this back here. We have everything staged right here. So when he's making his loads, we can just zip back here at the ditch witch, load everything up right into the trailer. And now, Drew and I are demoing the front. So the entire front walkway, we'll walk over there. The existing area is going to be an entire patio slash walkway so we are in the middle of demoing it right now the one issue that we're running into is this is a very tight spot for us to get our ditch witch in so this is an access point as you can see there's a control box right there for the irrigation system and that's our access point and both of them we have like six inches of clearance on both sides if that so yeah this kind of adds a little challenge for our plan but we'll figure it out. We avoided disaster with our machine. As you can see, this is where our machine was not uh, five minutes ago, and now it is completely full of water. You can see it pouring in right there. So fast. Yeah, we're calling the city because we believe this might be a uh, main water line. It would not be. It'd be a first for three timbers. Yeah, this is definitely not what we needed. Yeah. This was bone dry. It was bone dry about five minutes ago. So we're gonna call the city, figure out a plan, and hopefully get this water out of here. Alright, so the city just came out and they shut the water off for us. And we learned a very, very valuable thing about Scottsdale area. So they come out, when you call 811 to mark all your lines, they come out and mark everything to the box. So after it hits the meter they don't mark any of that so he informed us that everything that's down these streets and runs to the boxes they're in charge of everything after that you have to either call a plumber in or hopefully the homeowner knows where the lines run and can point them out to you but yeah that's just 
something that we're not used to in Minnesota because when they come out, they mark everything to the house. So I'm gonna go get a pump. We're gonna drain this out so it can dry over the weekend. And then hopefully by Monday, it'll be dry enough so where we can get the rest this concrete out and then we can start getting some base in here for our new walkway that's going in so so we rented a trash pump to suck all this water out quick so it'll be able to dry over the weekend So our plumber has stopped by and we have assessed what the damage was. So what it was is where the copper pipe meets the PVC pipe, there's a connector there and that cracked with all the weight that was pushed on top of it from this sinkhole that we we're guessing that we hit. So Bry's digging it out right here. Our plumber went to go get some parts that he needed to fix this. And then we'll be able to get that patched and then we'll be able to continue forward with tearing that sidewalk out. We're gonna have to let it dry for a day, but what can you do? So yeah, problem solving. So you can see we got our water line fixed. So what our plumber said actually happened is there was an air pocket around that pipe where they both connected the copper pipe met the pvc pipe and what happened is when we were on top of here with our machine the weight of that dirt went down and just cracked that connecting piece which caused it to spring a very big leak so we got all that fixed we got the water back on it's holding what we're doing now is filling it in with this in-ground soil so what the plumber said to do is to go underneath it because we had to dig down about four to five inches underneath it, pack underneath it so that pipe has a nice base to lay on with soil that has no rocks in it. Um, that's the important thing. because if the pipe is on rocks, that could cause it to burst or crack again. So we picked up the soil, we're gonna backfill it all, pack it all the way up, and then we'll be able to get back to tearing this entire sidewalk out. All right, so the jackhammer that we rented did not work. So now Brian went to go return it and get a new one or to get that one fixed. We'll see what they do. But I got the final load of rock out of here and in the trailer. So you can see, I'm gonna run this to the dump right now, then come back and get that sidewalk out. concrete's out so we're prepping this for laying base so it's still kind of wet so what our plan is is to scrape all this kind of crappy stuff out and all the rock and all the remaining sticks and stuff level it out hit it with the play compactor and then let it dry in the sun in the afternoon while we go and work on clearing out the back so it's a game plan and yeah let's get after it Our trench dug right here where our planter box is going to go um, our heights that we have set are we dug six inches down so four inches of base and then um, our blocks are four inches tall and we'll bury those two inches so starting there we have our string lines out through here and we'll get our string line set up through there so that we know our heights through all the, the planter box and we will get to basin can see we got our trench filled in with our first layers of base got all of our string lines set out for where our wall is gonna go and we built it up so 
yeah this has been quite the eventful past week that we've had but it's nice that we're finally having dry weather to make these projects go a little more smooth so yeah next week we'll be knocking out all this turf rock planting and you guys will see us build this planter box so thanks for watching and i'll see you next week